started in a little garage in Hawaii. We've seen so many people take the vision forward and, and use the passion of fitness to really disciple people that have never heard the name of Jesus. So it's a real joy to be a part of. I've loved sports and athletics my whole life, but it was always unto doing things to prove myself and prove what I could do. It was all for selfish reasons. But when I came here and I, I heard about people that didn't have access to the written word of God when we have all of access, and I heard that call, like someone needs to go, someone needs to do the hard thing, hike the mountains, use their fitness unto a purpose um, to reach the lost and not for selfish reasons, that I could get on board with. The preparation for the trek consists of a lot of longer, enduring type workouts with vests or with step ups. So the focus is the stamina and the endurance. And so we do a lot of trainings that are, or workouts that are 45 minutes to even 90 minutes because of the reality of carrying a pack that weighs anywhere from 30 to 40 pounds for three, four, five days and sometimes um, 12 hours a day. respect the corners, even the training that we go through is, is so much preparation for, for doing the things that are hard, doing the thing that the, the average person can't do because there's a certain level of training required to, to tough out the terrain and to really dig in deep and, and press through that, that red line of, okay, this is, this is for the one, this is for the people who don't know Jesus, this is to get gospels to the unreached. Like, how do you feel about the truck? Should I keep mine rolling? Or? Yeah, 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 I keep pulling. Keep so, well, Anna, do you want me to help hey. you? I feel great about the track. I'm excited to be with some of my great friends and new friends and new friends and new friends. <laughs> and uh, we're always excited about getting to take uh, the Word of God to people that have never had it. So, we're taking part in this together, all of us, and uh, I'm very excited. Good job, bro. We're going to race you. Maybe you're gonna be, yeah, maybe you'll beat us. So guys, we'll be taking small breaks in between. It's gonna be hot and sunny while we walk today. Uh, it's 25 kilometers away from here. Um, if, we, if we walk fast, we're gonna make it within eight or nine hours. But we'll see how it goes today. It's a long, long walk. Yeah. <laughs> when you can barely see, we're gonna go over that and then down and then farther. That's her God. One of the most amazing things about uh, Bible distribution is the focus on the completion of regions. We're really capable of paying attention where we've been, and um, and we're not necessarily taking uh, Bibles to the same places over and over, but we're continuing discipleship in those places, but focusing on taking Bibles to new places as regions are completed. 6.7 Every person has the right to get the Word of God in their hands, in their homes, in their villages, wherever it may be. There is a host of unreached people groups that cannot be reached and have not been reached because of the difficulty that it takes physically 
to get to them, um, specifically in these high mountain ranges. You know, they say in like competitions or games, it doesn't really matter like how much you do on game day. It's all the training and preparation and the choices you make leading up to that that really counts. So for me, when I train here, I'm thinking about when I'm on the mountain and I can't slow down, I can't quit, I can't give up, and I can't slow down my team. So I choose to push through mentally when I look at the clock or when I don't want to finish the next round. And that helps me create mental toughness so that I can choose to do it when it really counts. So what I trained for, be in this village right here, right now. Even along the way to our destination, God wants to do something. So they asked if anyone wanted to share the gospel, um, the translators, and I saw a bunch of women here. So I thought maybe I should share as a female. So I shared my story and then, yeah, the gospel. And then I asked, has anyone heard this message before? And they all said, no, no one had heard this gospel before. Trekking is by far one of the most challenging things I think I've ever personally done, but one of the most worth it. Uh, just getting out there in the mountains and, and seeing the inclines that you have to climb and knowing where the villages are that you're trying to go to and, and lack of resources, food, water, all of it. But just having this thing inside of my soul that's, that's Jesus speaking like we're doing this for the one, we're going after the one. It's just such a great opportunity to really use our fitness for something greater than ourselves. To truly test our fitness and our capabilities for something that's so much bigger than you and I. We have come from very far to share with you a story. It's a story of a God who loves you. God, the God of the universe who created all of this, loved us so much that he sent his one and only son. And he died on the cross. For our sins. And after three days, he overcame death. He gave his only son and he sets a table for all people that he loves. And he says, come and sit with me. It changed my whole training mindset. And now when I work out and I train, I push myself um, not to prove my worth or to prove anything, but now um, I push myself with others in mind. And so when we get in here and we train, I'm training my mental toughness so that when I get on the mountain um, that I don't give up. And we need more people. We need more people to use their fitness, not just for themselves, um, but for the, for the sake of those who have never heard of Jesus before. What would it look like for you to lay your life down for people that you don't know to serve them to go and reach the unreached? That's our challenge with people is, hey, will you put down what you think you need to be doing, put down what you feel is right, and press into a greater call that the Lord has for all of us to go to the one. Because that's essentially what he did for us. There's no greater love than that for someone to lay their life down for, for a friend, for a brother. That would be our, our deepest desire if people would understand that it's, it's gonna require all of us.